Given the name of the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport, you might conclude that the vehicle competes in the highly competitive compact crossover segment, but it actually really is for Hyundai to distinguish the two-row sport model from the much longer three-row Santa Fe. With this being said, the Santa Fe Sport fits in between a compact and a mid-size crossover, and you may find it to be a very compelling choice with the countless amount of crossover options available in the automotive world. So let's go ahead and take a closer look and check out this 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Sport currently still follows the fluidic sculpture design that made the Hyundai brand so widely popular, and the styling is sleek yet very sophisticated. I especially love the standard LED accent lights and 17 inch alloys that complements the overall look of the vehicle very well. For exterior dimensions, you're looking at 185 inches in length and 74 inches in width. Additionally, you won't find many changes for 2018, except for the addition of a new value package that adds in useful convenience features such as push button start, dual zone automatic climate control, and heated front seats. This exterior color of the Santa Fe Sport is known as the mineral gray metallic, and you do have smart key access on the driver's door and the front passenger door. Goes the key fob for the vehicle. We have your lock, unlock, your power tailgate, and your panic alarm and chrome exterior door handles. The interior color, you have a two-toned gray, which certainly gives the interior much more contrast, love it. And we do have your power driver's seat with power recline and your power lumbar. And we have the Yes Essentials cloth seats. Stepping on inside of the Santa Fe Sport, you'll notice that the step-in height is pretty low and the interior is getting a little long in the tooth and stale in terms of its design but it still works it's still superb with its ergonomics and i really love the whole layout with this uh, center stack here and you do have push button ignition just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start Your transmission on the Santa Fe Sport includes a six-speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability. No paddle shifters, however, and this is supposed to be the Sport model. But when you put the vehicle into reverse, it does display your rearview camera with guidance lines as well as trajectory. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the headlights, fogs, and hazards. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the vehicle driver's window and your front passenger window. Pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED side turn signal indicators. You can also get blind spot detection on this vehicle of course, but we do have a blind spot mirror here. Seventeen inch alloy wheels. Halogen projector beam headlights with your halogen fogs down below. Powering the Santa Fe Sport here is your base engine, which is a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder. You're looking at 185 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 178 pound feet of torque at 4,000 RPM, with EPA estimates being a below average. 21 in the city and 27 on the highway. The fuel economy estimates are just aren't the greatest when you compare it to other crossovers its size. Now, you can also go for a two liter turbocharged four cylinder if you would like, if you want the extra power and torque, and it does provide around 240 horsepower, which is pretty good, but I certainly recommend that powertrain over this one here. But the six-speed automatic transmission also never hesitates to shift and is very responsive. And you can also go with front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive with this vehicle. 
Now what's interesting about the Santa Fe Sport is that it is priced similarly to compact crossover SUVs. However, it is a little larger than most. And you will see that you can compare this vehicle to many other crossovers such as Toyota's RAV4, Honda CRV, Chevrolet's Equinox, and GMC's Terrain. Of course, with Honda, you still have the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. You have roof rails on the top. Very stylish rear end. And you have a single exhaust tip. EPA estimates, like I said, 21 in the city and 27 on the highway. The final assembly point for this vehicle is in Georgia, and the U.S. Canadian parts content percentage is 56%, Korea 43%, and Mexico 1%. Government five-star safety ratings are looking at a five out of five, and total vehicle price for our Santa Fe Sport front-wheel drive model is $28,370. Of course, all of your basic power necessities, including power windows, power door locks, and your power mirrors. Now driving the 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport here, the first thing that you'll likely notice is that even with the Sport name, with this crossover, it really isn't the sportiest to drive. But the Santa Fe really doesn't feel particularly boring, having a pretty solid and predictable feel behind the wheel. And that definitely does have a typical crossover-like feel and does appeal to the masses. Now ride quality can be quite firm and definitely isn't plush or soft and doesn't glide over rough road pavement but it should be comfortable enough for long hauling family road trips what I also absolutely love is the six-speed automatic transmission which Hyundai has been using for quite some time now and is incredibly refined unlike what you will find in many other vehicles with 9 and 10 speed automatic transmissions. With up to 27 miles per gallon on the highway, the Santa Fe Sport isn't a fuel sipper but it isn't a gas guzzler either and you'll average around 24 mpg with regular mixed driving go for the all-wheel drive model of the santa fe sport and mpg is knocked down a couple of points ultimately though when driving the 2018 santa fe sport this is a crossover that really does try to appeal to the masses in terms of its driving dynamics it's not the sportiest crossover and nor does it have the most comfortable nature. Interior quality in the Santa Fe Sport is just average. Certainly could be a lot better here, but you'll find some rubbery feeling materials on the mid door panel. On top of the upper door panel here, it's soft touch at least, and the armrest down here is soft touch. Dashboard is all hard touch plastic, but the graining on the material is decent. And the seats, they certainly could be a lot better. They're a little firm, especially for my taste, and you'll find out that it's not the best when you're going on extended long road trips. Visibility out of the Santa Fe Sport is okay. You'll find decent amount of glass area on the front windows here, and seeing out of the windshield is pretty easy too. But when you get to rearward visibility, those seat pillars do block your rearward visibility a whole lot. You have your Blue Link telematic system and a manually dimming rearview mirror, as well as your SOS safety connect and your sunglass container and your map lights. Down here you'll find a little storage cubby and a USB charging port auxiliary input and two 12 volt power outlets. Three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger, dual cup holders, and a plentiful amount of center console storage space with a removable tray. Center console lid is also soft touch. Up on the center stack here you'll find dual zone automatic climate control. Some nice amenity, especially since this is more of a basic trim of the Santa Fe. And we do have your fan speed levels, your temperatures, front window defroster, rear window defroster. And coming to gauges here, pretty simple instrumentation, but you'll find your uh, driver vehicle information center with your fuel range. It also shows you your average fuel economy and your different audio sources, as well as your other vehicle information, such as your tire pressure monitoring, service intervals. And then we have other settings such as your doors, lights, sound, convenience, 
and other features too. And you'll find your speedometer on the right and your fuel gauge as well as your tachometer on the left as well as your coolant temperature. On the steering wheel here you also find your steering mounted audio controls, voice recognition, Bluetooth phone controls, and then your cruise control. You can also go for high-end safety technologies on the Santa Fe Sport including rear cross traffic alert, blind spot detection, lane departure warning, all that good stuff. Coming to the head unit and main infotainment system, this is Hyundai's Blue Link system. And we've seen this head unit many times here before. But you'll also find that Hyundai added in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto just last year to this system. But it is fairly responsive and intuitive. Your different audio sources do include all of the normal stuff here, including AM, FM, and XM satellite radio. We also do have HD radio on this vehicle, as well as iTunes tagging. And your external media devices do include Bluetooth streaming audio, your USB port with iPod integration, and your auxiliary input. You also do have your apps, which you can access many different apps like Pandora, your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, of course, and your Climate and Series XM data, SoundHound, voice commands, and your quick guide. And it shows you a little guide to how to use everything on the system. And your Blue Link gives you your driving info. Of course, you need a subscription for that. And everything with the Blue Link, you need a subscription. And then your setup, like your sound, connectivity, home screen, your Wi Fi. You also do have onboard Wi Fi on this vehicle. And display, clock, Bluetooth. Turn Bluetooth on from your. But overall, I really do love this touchscreen. Very responsive and intuitive, and one of the best in the business. Interior quality does follow through in the rear. And your rear seats do fold down if you want to maximize cargo space. And they do recline too. Plenty of rear seat legroom back here and headroom. Ample amounts of headroom back here. And dual map pockets as well as a 12 volt power outlet and your rear center armrest with cup holders. Seats back here, just like the front ones, are a little on the firm side. And you do have rear adjustable headrests for all three seats. All right. Plenty of cargo space back here. You'll find that there is a 12 volt power outlet. When you compare it to other compact crossovers, Lots more cargo space in the Santa Fe Sport. You have your Santa Fe Sport floor mats. Very convenient with this handlebar. So the 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport really stands out in the crowd with its great value its abundance of cargo space, as well as its easy to use technology. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.